Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see I'm driving. It's half past five in the morning and I'm heading up to Liverpool. We're here, we're back. This is the the Le Mans Mark I. For all of those who don't know what a motor guzzi is, it's one of the early cafe races, Italian cafe races. It's missing a front cowl, a small one with a single light. Uh, what I'm going to do with this project, the first thing I do is I'm going to look at it. I haven't had a proper look at it because I've been quite obsessed by the Ducati, to be fair. So now I'm going to focus solely on this, do as much reading as I can. So I'm quite excited about getting to know this bike. Hopefully you enjoy the series with me as I take you through the trials and tribulations of what this motorcycle is hiding underneath the hood. So I'm gonna see if I can't restore this. It's gonna take a lot of rubbing to run. So let me show you this. The trick on this is to figure out what was actually here before. So here I am in uh, sunny Paris. I've got a chance um, to sit out in the garden and actually look at this uh, motor guzzi. This is now the transitional, pre-transition 1977, the round tail light version. So I've got to get this right. Today you can see I'm back on the road again. I had uh, somebody come around and visit me. He wanted to show me his collection. He'd obviously watched some of my YouTube videos. He has a Le Mans Mark I. Apparently it's museum condition. Which means that I can go and investigate what the restoration quality is if it's original. Jammed. You can see there's a milkiness to them. This is the main ignition loom and original. There we go. Oh my goodness. So tight, so tight. Circuit out, pulled out. Let's have a look what we got here. Cross bearing there. Yeah. 
and then you find you find this yeah this is pretty not good what is that I mean that's what these things are about the restorations they're they're not always going to go easy it's um, it's been compressed through there Got this head looking good again. A good bit of head. However, we have this issue. This one's been grit blasted with a soft aggregate so it doesn't um, spark erode the surface but it just cleans it. And this one is here to be cleaned. Other rim side is just absolutely jam solid. Good, right, let's have a fight with the back wheel now. I think there's some restoration channels where, because that looks that way, this will just be replaced. And I think that's silly. See what I mean? Cleaned up. That really has done a great job there, so I'm very pleased with that. Not a lot of oil in this shock. All obviously drained out over time. So now we have this parallel recess back again. Oh, there you are. All well, these other ones are still jammed. Well, I finally, finally got it moving and I thought I'd better video this before this part comes out so we can see it together. Okay. Don't expect those rings to stay in those positions, right? That feels great. Check if this has got any adjustment on it. Okay. And these parts here, we're going to start to prime these. Unfortunately, we're going to have to re rebonder this. It's interesting as to why this is dented here. Anyway, uh, we can save this tank. There you go. Taking shape. Issues are quite common to get drips. They really look good. Let's see what we've got here.
I'm very reluctant to spray into these things. I'd rather have a little bit of patina. So it's a reminder of where we came from. That was what we had. But, um, I think on the whole, we've got ourselves uh, the graphics back, which is really nice. patiently working through each section. I've greased up these bearings. It's absolutely perfect. What a bonus. Be so careful not to scratch the surface. Again, some more things saved. And I'll go back to my old photos and see how that was weaved through the through the system. Yay! But I've been looking forward to not. Always cut down the length of a loom or a wire, never across. Do whatever. I'll make sure that he has the chance to develop. Once we've tightened them, that looks pretty accurate, so I'll give that a spray. I think this end is stripped. I just couldn't do the stand that did finish, so I gave it a clean. I just think it's looking really nice now. that. This folks is such a difficult thing to find. The label on there is quite damaged from being wrenched off. But look at this. Ta-da. It's come out really well. Uh, 
uh, fingers crossed everything will be fine. Yeah. Quite a bit of work to do, get this all cleaned up, get some profiles cut from these pieces and then finish the profile off if I can, so fingers crossed. The last of the ribs to go in. Pilot light needs to be fixed.
that just fits on perfectly and that's going to go onto that spot there Very nice. Come on. Oh, that's fantastic. It's really nice, though. Oh, that's amazing, that is. Yeah. It, do you know what I mean? It looks great on the video, but in the flesh, it's just. Better. Better. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Better than the Viper, isn't it? It's just it's better than new. Yeah. yeah. Well, like you said, it's 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 genuine, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. genuine. Thank you. 